will be Ararat Mizoran, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia. Foreign Minister, you have the floor. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to address the ministerial segment of the high-level political forum. The theme of this year's forum couldn't be more relevant as the world community is facing many interlinked and interrelated challenges and crises while endeavoring to deliver on the promise of the SDGs. The political declaration adopted last September recognized that the 2030 agenda remains our overarching roadmap for achieving sustainable development while SDGs and their targets seek to realize the human rights of all and to achieve gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. Yet, as the Secretary General has stressed in his last report, multiple overlapping crises have negatively impacted global progress in achieving the SDGs by raising the number of people pushed into poverty, weakening food security, increasing inequality, widening gender gaps with particular impact on the vulnerable groups, use of force, gross violations of human rights, ethnic cleansing, continue to define the international relations. Solidarity and effective cooperation of the international community are of crucial importance to shift this negative paradigm and leave a safer and better world for future generations. Collectively, as a world community, we can deliver ambitious and transformative changes when there is enough political will and determination. This brings me to the point whether we are able not only to be vocal, but also to show by example that such paradigm shift is possible. Mr. President, Armenia was among the countries which had to face the impact of multiple crises within the last four years. While we were trying to cope with the global pandemic just like other nations, a large-scale war, acts of aggression against Armenia, influx of around 115,000 Armenians as a result of blockade and ethnic cleansing in Nagorno-Karabakh put our efforts towards sustainable development in peril. Nevertheless, regardless of all challenges, Armenia remained committed to delivering on the promise of the SDGs and making real changes for its people by building strong democratic institutions, safeguarding the human rights and rule of law, fostering social inclusion, gender equality and empowerment of youth. People are central in our government's efforts to advance the implementation of the 2030 agenda. Later during the day, I will present the third voluntary national review of Armenia, which was an important endeavor to assess the progress and challenges in achieving the SDGs while identifying the lessons learned. To conclude, I reiterate Armenia's commitment to the implementation of the 2030 agenda and building back better while leaving no one behind. As we approach the upcoming summit of the future, Armenia stands ready to contribute to adoption of a forward-looking and result-oriented pact for future. Thank you.